Hi everyone, this is Vic. Hope all is well. Um, got a quick tutorial on uh, one way to use guide layers in After Effects with uh, uh, Element 3D. Uh, the guide layer is really useful for me uh, on my latest project. Uh, I used uh, a UV map to uh, guide the team logo for a football helmet. Let me just show you uh, the project. So it's called Football Player Headshot Transition. That's the project name. You can find this on Video Hive under my uh, name, Facade, F A C A D E. Let me play this. So, as you can see here, here's the helmet, and team logo is on the helmet. Uh, and I position the logo using the UV map, and I'll show you that in a minute. So, let me just pause this so I can show you what's going on. So, as you can see here, the UV map is on. Okay, so I'm changing the logo out, swapping it out with another logo, but yet the UV map is, isn't showing, the logo showing, but there's no UV map on, on the helmet. So usually you you know probably see the wires and stuff on the helmet, but you don't see it on there. Um, so how did I do that? Uh, I did that using a guide layer. So the guide layers, you can see here's a UV map for the helmet, and on the layer itself you see this little. Uh, icon here. This is a, like a tic-tac-toe icon. That means that's a guide layer. It's active. Uh, basically what that does is it makes a layer invisible uh, to render out. You can see it, but it won't render out. So let me uh, bring up the other window here with the uh, main composition. So I'm going to go to, let me select the window here, and then go to New Viewer, Control alt shift N. That brings up two viewers side by side, or two windows I mean. So on the left side, I'm going to bring up my other composition with the helmet that you saw on that preview. And on this side, I'll keep the helmet UV map up. So you can see it's on right now. Okay, the, the UV layer is on, but yet you can't see it over here. All right, that's because the guide layer is on. So what if I turn that off? Let me turn it off. If you right-click on the layer, go turn off guide layer. Now the tic-tac-toe icon's gone, this is no longer active the the uh, guide layers so you can now see the UV map wires on the helmet this might be useful too uh, for positioning I don't like to see it I just want to see the you know my my UV comp on the right side so I can position things but I don't want to see it up here because it's gonna it's a pain if you're let me bring in the actual logo so here's the code Canyon logo and I hope they don't mind that I'm using this I am an author on their marketplace so um, so you can see there's the logo popping up and it's popping up on the right place you know but I don't want to like make an update here and then you know wait for the update over here on this side you know I want to see this helmet without the wires I want to see a nice clean helmet but yet I want to see the UV so over here so I can use them as a guide so that's where you know if you right click on that UV map you can click on guide layer now it's going to be invisible uh, for rendering time, but you can still use it as a guide. So now I can go back over here uh, to the UV map side. You know, grab that logo, position where I want it, scale them down, and it's going to keep updating. I'm not giving it a chance to update because I'm moving kind of uh, quickly on this side. But I can kind of you know, get an idea of where I want it, and it'll update here soon. You'll see it pop up and reposition itself on the helmet just like that. Right now I don't like where it's at. I want to move it up a little more and to the right. And uh, there you go. Um, yeah, that's where I want it. Alright, so hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, like I said, the guide layer is useful. I haven't used it much, but I will from now on. Uh, I don't know why I haven't used it too much, but it's really useful. Um, anyway, um, Hope this helps. Please, if you have uh, any interest on sports templates, uh, visit my portfolio on VideoHive. There's plenty of them there that might be useful. And uh, that's about it. I will see you again next time.